Several primary school students stand to benefit from a donation of 100 STEM or science, technology, engineering and mathematics kits from BHP Billiton. The donation was made last Friday in collaboration with the Ministry of Energy, Small Business and Entrepreneurship. Speaking during the presentation at the ministry's headquarters on Friday, Minister of Education Kay McConney said the donation was timely as government was actively placing increased emphasis on STEM within schools. It means the broadening of horizons for learning. The dono this donation is quite timely since we here at the Ministry of Education, Technological and Vocational Training, we are actively placing increased emphasis on science, technology, engineering and math, better known as STEM within our schools. It's part of our drive to promote innovation through education and through the reform that is most forthcoming. We have evidence of how education using STEM can significantly promote meaningful, relevant, and authentic engagement of our students. STEM affords students of all ages and of all stages in their learning development the opportunity to learn using an interdisciplinary approach that is designed not only to provide sound cognitive grounding in the four disciplines, but also to build specific competencies, help them to apply skills in a very real world, and to hone their interpersonal capacities. It is in this regard that the utilization of these STEM kits in our existing primary science classes has the ability to maximize the potential of all students, regardless of their ability, their psychological development, or their socioeconomic background. This is consistent with our mission for education in Barbados, where all students have a chance for quality outcomes. The Ministry of Education, Technological and Vocational Training, we recognize the need for a paradigm shift in the way that education is delivered in this country. And it is with the need for this necessary shift in mind that a multi-pronged approach is being used to address relevant aspects of the education system as it relates to STEM. To date, we have made strides by introducing coding and robotics into the nursery, primary, secondary, and tertiary cur curricula. Additionally, in the coming months, we will have an IDB funded Inter-American Development Bank funded pilot project in specific nursery schools that will focus on teaching and learning of STEM using the play-based approach that is making learning fun.